This is Stuart Mills of Hulder Arms and Mills Fleet Farm. Today we're at Mills Fleet Farm's Northern Command Training Facility, a secret undisclosed location in northern Minnesota. We're going to be putting this 545 carbine with optional accessories through a torture test. And it's just the beginning. This rifle has come out of the box and has not been cleaned or lubed. We are going to run this rifle without lube or cleaning until it quits, whether that's 10,000, 20,000, or 30,000 rounds. The interesting thing about this rifle is I've got 532 rounds through it already. Not a huge round count, but it's all my schedule allowed to put through it. Um, I took this out of the box. I looked at the bolt in the bolt carrier. I wiped it down. I put it back in the rifle. I started shooting. This rifle has not been cleaned or lubed. There's uh, the target there on the, the right side, which hasn't been shot yet. That's a steel target. We're going to go back to 50 yards and uh, punch some, uh, some rounds through that. We're going to come back and inspect it. The other three targets on the left uh, have been shot already. But uh, let's just see what the uh, 545 Russian surplus round can do at 50 yards to that steel target on the right. There it is, clean and cool to the touch. A little bit of carbon on there, but nowhere near what you'd expect with that Russian military surplus 545 ammo. And especially since it hasn't had any lubrication since it came out of the box. Actually, I didn't lube it when it came out of the box. I pretty much just wiped it down. So whatever it uh, lube had on it when it shipped from the assembly point, um, I wiped that off. and. We're still running on that. So let's go down and take a look at the targets and charge up a few magazines and push it past 1,000. At 50 yards, uh, we proved two things. First of all, I'm not the world's best marksman, uh, but uh, hey, I'm having fun and that's the important thing. And second of all, that 545 Russian military surplus round can penetrate this thickness of steel at 50 yards. So. Uh, now again, these are not uh, AR-500 or uh, 550 steel. Uh, it's uh, basically steel off the, the, the scrap heap. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, this is real steel and this round is going through it. It's, uh, it's impressive and it's accurate and you got some few nice groups there. But again, uh, we're standing up at 50 yards and kind of slinging them out there. But this is what uh, this ammo is good for, is just... Uh, going out having a fun day of shooting and knowing that uh, you can buy a tin of 1080 for a fraction of what you'd pay for a 556 and know that it's every bit as accurate and even more fun because you know you're not going to go poor doing it so anyways we're going to go back to the uh, 50 yard line again uh, we're going to just do some random shooting on all the targets and let's get on with it and uh, let's go have some fun shooting Let's see if we can make that steel sing a song. Now that was a heck of a lot of firing, but that is not even warm at all. There's a little bit of carbon on it, but nowhere near the carbon you'd have on a direct impingement system. And no heat. That's all that's on it. Shooting a Russian military surplus 545 ammo that more than likely is corrosive. This gun can handle it. Let's go down and take a look at the targets again. Wow, this one right here is impressive. You know, we had, I think, two, three, maybe four uh, shots through this one, but, you know, we shot this one at uh, 50, 40, and 30 yards. Uh, back there, as you saw, went right through that, and uh, 
this is not cheap steel. I mean, it's off the strap, scrap heat, heap, and we made these targets ourselves. Uh, this one took a lot more abuse. Uh, really punched it. You know, geez, what a what a fun, durable rifle that can take uh, cheap Russian mill surplus ammunition, and you know, for what you pay for a tin of a thousand and eighty, and the shooting you get out of it, uh, it's just awesome to be able to do this in an AR platform. What we're going to do is we're going to go through these mags real quick. I got two others over there. We want to push this gun uh, past a thousand rounds. Again, corrosive Russian 545 ammunition in a piston driven AR 15 platform, the Hulger Mark IV. Let's charge up this weapon and uh, fire this in short order. thousand right there there we are clean ish I'll say clean ish and cool that's the important thing direct impingement this thing would be filthy it would have stopped running a, a few times that's uh that's quite something you know what I don't think we're gonna be lubing it I think we're gonna try to make uh, 2,000 rounds without any lubrication with the uh, Russian corrosive mill surplus ammunition uh, and see if it does slow down. Anyways, got to get back to the office. Uh, thanks for coming out and spending an afternoon shooting. But again, this is Stuart Mills with Holger Arms and Mills Fleet Farm. As always, wear your eyes and ear protection. And uh, read and abide by the owner's manual, please. And always be safe and uh, have fun out there shooting. Thank you.